看。看一下今天的 ，OK， 好，今天的主持人可以开麦了。OK， 好，谢谢，谢谢。Hello, Beth Ann, this is Tina. Hi, Tina. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, before we start, would you please pray for us first? I will. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for. Once again, being able to gather and read your word.、Um, thank you for your care and protection this past week.、Um, I pray that tonight or this morning in China we will honor you as we read your word.、Um, bless the those who are studying and learning、um, your word along with English, and give them good understanding and clear speaking. Um, help us just to honor you in all that we do. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um. Then today we, today 开始咱们的生命记。然后我先说一下咱们这个规则。如果您想要读并且有号的话，请在您前面标一个三位数的号。如果您没有号码，请找 Susan 要一下号。好，我们今天从一百八十九号开始读。首先第一位一百九十五号。Amethyst. Hello, Bethan. This is Amethyst. Five words, please.、Mm. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse four. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen, text thirteen, verse four. It is the Lord your God. It is the Lord your God. You must follow. You must follow, and him you must revere, and him you must revere. Keep his commands and obey him. Keep his commands and obey him. Serve him and hold fast to him. Serve him and hold fast to him. Thank you. 二百二十二号 ，Susie。Hello, best friend. This is Susie. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse five. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse five. That prophet or dreamer. That prophet or dreamer must be put to death. Must be put to death. Because he preached rebellion, because he preached rebellion against the Lord your God, against the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, who brought you out of Egypt, and redeemed you from the land, and redeemed you from the land. Of slavery, of slavery. He has tried to turn you. He has tried to turn you from the way the Lord your God, from the way the Lord your God commanded you to follow, commanded you to follow. You must purge the evil from among you. You must purge the evil from among you. Thank you. Two hundred twenty-four. Master, mastered. Hello, Rosemary. 老师叫啥？我念不了这个名字。Beth Ann. 啊。Beth Ann. Rose Ann. Hello, Rose Ann. This is Master. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse six. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse six. If your very own brother, if you or very own brother, or your son or daughter. Or your son or daughter, or the wife you love, 
or the wife you love, or your closest friend, or your closest friend, secretly entices you, saying, secretly entices you, saying, let us go. Let us go and worship other gods. And the worst proof of gods. Gods that neither you. Gods that neither you. Nor your fathers have known. No, your fathers have known. Thank you. Our son, Joe, Teresa. Hello, best friend. This is Teresa. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 7. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 7. Gods of the peoples around you. Gods of the people around you. Whether near or far. Whether near or far. From one end of the land to the other. From the from one end of the land to the other. Thank you, Beth Ann. Us are Holuka. Hello, Beth Ann. This is Luca Five Words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse eight. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse eight. Do not yield to him. Do not yield to him. Or listen to him. Or listen to him. Show him no pity. Show him no pity. Do not spare him. Or Do not spare him. Or shield him. Or shield him. Thank you, Bethan. You're welcome. 25号, Jesse. Hello, Bethan. This is Jesse. Uh, three words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 13. Deuteronomy chapter 13. Verse 9. Verse 9. You must certainly. You must certainly. Put him to death. Put him to death. Your hand must be, your hand must be, the first in putting, in for the first in putting, him to death, him to death, and then the hands, and then the hands, of all the people, of all the people. Thank you, Beth Ann. Hello, Bethan. This is Eagle. Farewell, please. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 10. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 10. Stone him to death. Stone him to death. Because he tried to turn you away. Because he came to... Uh, he tried to take you away from the Lord your God, from the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery, out of the land of slavery. Thank you, Bethan. Nina. Hello, Beth Ann. This is Nina. Three words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 13. Deuteronomy chapter 13. Verse 11. Verse 11. Then all Israel. Then all Israel. Will hear. Will hear. And be afraid. And be afraid. And no one, and no one among you, among you, will do such, will do such, 
an evil thing again. An evil thing again. Thank you, Beth Ann. 二七五号 Avery. Hello, Beth Ann. This is Avery. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse twelve. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse twelve. If you hear it said, if you hear it said about one of the towns, about one of the towns, the Lord your God, the Lord your God, is giving you to live in, is giving you to live in. Thank you. 二七九号 Emily. Hello, Bethan. This is Emily. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. That wicked men have arisen among you. That wicked men have arisen among you. And have led the people, and have led the people of their town astray, of their town astray, saying, "Let us go." Saying, "Let us go," and worship other gods, and worship other gods. Gods you have not known. Gods you have not known. Thank you. 二九二号 Eunice. Hello, best and this is Eunice. Three words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse fourteen. Verse fourteen. Then you must inquire. Then you must inquire. Probe and investigate. Probe and investigate. It thoroughly. It thoroughly. And if it is true. And if it. Um, it is true, and it has been, and it has been proved that proved that this detestable thing, this detestable thing, has been done, has been done among you, among you. Thank you, Beth Ann. 三百一十号 ，Connie. Hello, Beth Ann. This is Connie. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse fifteen. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse fifteen. You must certainly put. You must、uh, certainly put to the sword all who live. To the sword all who live. Who lives in that town? In that town. Destroy it completely. Destroy it completely. Both its people and its livestock. Plus is the people and is in live in live livestock livestock. Sorry, thank you, Bessie. You're welcome. Seven hundred twenty-eight, Lucia. Hello, Bessie. This is Lucia. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse sixteen. Deuteronomy. Chapter thirteen, verse sixteen. Gather all the plunder of the town. 
gather all the plunders of the town into the middle of the public square into the middle of the public square and completely burn the town and completely burn the town and all its plunder and all its plunder as a whole burnt offering as a whole burnt offering to the Lord your God to the Lord your God it is to remain a ruin forever it is to remain a ruin forever never to be rebuilt never to be rebuilt thank you 338 号 Jackie Hello, Benson. This is Jackie. Five word, please. Thank you. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse seventeen. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse seventeen. None of those condemned things. None of those condemned things shall be found in your hands. Shall be found in your hands. So that the Lord will turn. So that the Lord will turn from his fierce anger. From his fierce anger. He will show you mercy. He will show you mercy. Have compassion on you. Have compassion on you. And increase your numbers. And increase your numbers, as he promised on oath. As he promised on oath to your forefathers. To your forefathers. Thank you, Bessan. Three hundred thirty-nine, Naomi. Hello, Bessan. This is Naomi. Best and hello, best and this is Naomi. Five word, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse eighteen. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse eighteen. Because you obey the Lord your God. Because you obey the Lord your God. Keeping all his commands, keeping all his commands that I am giving you today, that I am giving you today, and doing what is right in his eyes, and doing what is right in his eyes. Thank you, Beth Ann. Three hundred thirty-four, Morning Star. Hello, Bethlehem. This is Morning Star. Three words, please. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen, verse one. Verse one. You are the children. You are the children of the Lord your God. Of the Lord your God. Do not cut yourselves. Do not cut yourselves, or shave the front, or shave the front of your heads, of your hands, for the dead, for the dead. Thank you. Three hundred forty-five, Caleb. Hello, Beth Ann. This is Caleb. Three words, please. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen. Deuteronomy chapter three. Fourteen. Fourteen. Verse two. The two. For you are. For you are. A people holy. A people holy to the Lord, to the Lord, your God, your God. 
out of all. Out of all. The peoples. The people. On the face. And the face. Of the earth. And the earth. The Lord has. The Lord has. Chosen you, chosen you, to be his, to be his, treasured, treasured, possession, possession. 好，下一位一号 Joy. Hi, Bethan. This is Joy. Uh, whole sentence. Thank you. Mm. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen verse three. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen verse three. Do not eat any detestable thing. Do not eat any detestable things. Thank you. Wu、mm、Hao -hmm. smile. Hello. Oh. This ah,、uh, this smell. Did I miss it? Three words, please. Hello, this ah.、Uh. <laughs> Hi, three words. Deuteronomy. This ah, three words, please. Okay, thanks. Smile. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen, verse four. Verse four. These are the animals. These are the animals you may eat. You may eat. The ox, the ox, the sheep, the sheep, the goat, the goat. Thank you, Miss Anne, so much. Ju Hao, Spring Snow. Hello, Miss Anne. This is Spring Snow. Today was please. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse five. What's five? The deer, the gazelle. The deer, the gazelle. The roe deer. The roe deer. The wild goat. The wild goat. The ibex, the antelope. The apex, the antelopes, and the mountain sheep, and the mountain sheep. Thank you, Peter. Twelve, Peter Li. Hello, Peter. This is Peter Li. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen, verse six. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen, verse six. You may eat any animal. You may eat any animal that has a split hoof. That has a split hoof. Divided into. Divided into. And that chews the cud. And that chews the cud. Thank you, Beth. Eighteen, Esther. Hello, Benson. This is Esther. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen, verse seven. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen, verse seven. However, of those that chew the cud. However, of those that chew the cud, or that have a split hoof. Or that have a split hoof, completely divided. 
completely divided. You may not eat the camel. You may not eat the camel. The rabbit or the coney. The rabbit or the coney. Although they chew the cud. Although they chew the cud. They do not have a split hoof. They do not have a slip, split hoof. They are ceremonially. They are ceremonially. Unclean for you. Unclean for you. Thank you, Bethan. 23号, Helen. Hi, Bethan. This is Helen. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 8. The pig is also unclean. The pig is also unclean. Although it has a split hoof. Although it has a split hoof. It does not chew the cud. It does not chew the cud. You are not to eat their meat. You are not to eat their meat. Or touch their carcasses. Or touch their carcasses. Thank you, Bethan. Yep. 25号, Sally. Hello, Bethan. This is Sally. Three words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 14. Deuteronomy chapter 14. Verse 9. 9. Of all the creatures. Of all the creatures. Living in the water. Living in the water. You may eat. You may eat. Any that has. Any that has. Fins and scales. Fans and the skills. Thank you, Fansman. Esther. Hello, Miss Anne. This is Esther. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 10. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 10. But anything that does not. But anything that does not. Have fins and scales. Have fins and scales. You may not eat. You may not eat. For you, it is unclean. For you, it is unclean. Thank you, Beth Ann. Hello, Beth Ann. This is Angel. Three words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 14. Deuteronomy chapter 14. Verse 11. Verse 11. You may eat. You may eat. Any clean bird. Any clean bird. Thank you, Beth Ann. Mm -hmm. Paul. Hello, Beth Ann. Deuteronomy. Let me. Chapter. Chapter. Fourteen. Fourteen. Verse. Verse. Twelve. Twelve. But these. But these. You may. You may. Not eat. Not eat. The eagle, the eagle, the vulture, the vulture, the black, the black vulture, vulture. Okay, 老师要说 thank you. 哈，下一次啊，五十四号 Ruth。
Hello, Basin. This is Ruth. Three words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 14. Deuteronomy chapter 14. Verse 13. Verse 13. The red kite. The red kite. The black kite. The black kite. Any kind of falcon. Any kind of fountain. Thank you, Basin. You're welcome. 五十五号 Lydia， 你说 hello， hello， 白森，喂，白森。Two words, please. 你说 two words, please. This is Lydia, the senior. 她读两个字 Two words, please. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Ah, let's let's read it. Deuteronomy. This is a little girl. You come, you read it. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. This is a little girl. You read it. Come, you read it. Deuteronomy. You read who? Mao Zedong. Go on. Chapter thirteen. Chapter thirteen. Chapter thirteen. 我想吃一个棒棒糖。你读，还不读了，我读吧。Chapter thirteen. Verse four. Verse four. It is the Lord. It is the Lord. Your God. Your God. You must follow. You must follow. And him, and him, you must revere. You must、uh, revere. Keep his commands. Keep his commands. And obey him. And obey him. Serve him. Serve him. And hold fast to him. And hold fast. To him. Thank you, by then. Thank you. Sixty-seven, Christina. Hello, by then. This is Christina. In fact, um, three words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse five. Verse five. That prophet or dreamer. That prophet. All dreamer must be put must be put to death to die because he preached because he preached rebellion against rebellion against the Lord your God the Lord your God who brought you who brought you. Out of Egypt, out of Egypt, and redeemed you, and redeemed you from the land, from the land of slavery, of slavery. He has tried. He has tried to turn you, to turn you from the way, from the way. The Lord your God, the Lord your God, commanded you to follow. Commanded you to follow. You must purge. You must purge the evil. The evil from among you. From among you. Thank you, Bethan. Eighty-five, Eunice. Hello, Bethan. This is Eunice. Three words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse six. Verse six. If you're very, if you're very own brother, own brother. Or your son, 
or your son or daughter or daughter daughter or the wife you love or the wife you love or your closest friend or your closest friend friend mm -hmm. secretly entices you secretly entices you saying saying let us go let us go and worship and worship other gods are uh, other gods gods that neither you gods that neither you nor your fathers nor your fathers have known have no thank you by the eye 109号, Lisa. Hello, Bethan. This is Lisa. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 7. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 7. Gods of the peoples around you. Gods of the people around you. Whether near or far. Whether near or far. From one end of the land to the other. From one end of the world to the other. Thank you. Shall I buy each ye hot? Me out do ma? I buy each ye hot. Me out do ma? Ma, I buy each son hot grace. Hello, Bethan. This is Grace. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 8. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 8. Do not yield to him. Do not yield to him. Or listen to him. Or listen to him. Show him no pity. Show him no pity. Do not spare him or shield him. Do not spare him or shield him. Thank you, Beth Ann. Hello, Beth Ann. This is John. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 9. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 9. You must certainly put him to death. You must certainly put him to death. Your hand must be the first. Your hand must be the first. In putting him to death. In putting him to death. And then the hands of all the people. And then the hand of all the people. Thank you, Pastor. 148号, Amy. Hello, Bethan. This is Amy. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 10. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 10. Stone him to death. Stone him to death. Because he tried to turn you. Because he tried to turn you. Away from the Lord your God. Away from the Lord your God. Who brought you out of Egypt. Who brought you out of Egypt. Out of the land of slavery. Out of the land of slavery. Thank you, Bethan. 167号, Sarah Yang. Hello, Bethan. This is Sarah Yen. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 11. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 11. Then all Israel 
will hear. The owl is there will hear. And be afraid. And be afraid. And no one among you. And no one among you. Will do such an evil thing again. Will do such an evil thing again. Thank you, thank you, Bethan. 一百七十三号 Happy. Hello, Bethan. This is Happy. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse twelve. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse twelve. If you hear it said, if you hear it said about one of the towns, about one of the towns, the Lord your God, the Lord your God, is giving you to live in. Is giving you to live in. Thank you. One hundred and seventy-eight, Johnson. Hello, Bethan. This is Johnson. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. That wicked men have arisen among you. That wicked men have arisen among you, and have led the people, and have led the people. Of their town astray, of their town astray, saying, "Let us go," saying, "Let us go," and worship other gods, and worship other gods, gods you have not known, gods you have not known. Thank you, Bethan. 好，我们第一轮已经读完了。有哪位晚进来的或者漏掉的，请您举手。如果没有的话，我们就开始第二轮。一百九十五号 ，Amethyst。Hello, Bethan. This is Amethyst. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse fourteen. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse fourteen. Then you must inquire. Then you must inquire. Probe and investigate it thoroughly. Probe and uh, uh, investigate it uh, uh, thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And if it is true, and if it is true. And it has been proved. And it has been proved that this detestable thing, that this detestable thing, has been done among you. Has been done among you. Thank you. Our largest hall mustard. Hello, Beth Ann. This is Master Favors, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen. Do you read me chapter thirteen, verse fifteen? Verse six, sixteen, fifteen. You must certainly. You must certainly put to the sword. Put the sword. All who live, all who live, in that town, in that town, destroy it completely, destroy it completely, both its people, both its people, and its livestock, and its livestock. Thank you. 二百三十九号 ，Teresa。Hello, Benson. This is Teresa. Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse sixteen. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, verse sixteen. 
Gather all the plunder of the town. Gather all the plunder of the town. Into the middle of the public square. Into the middle of the public square. Mm -hmm. And completely burn the town and completely burn the town and all its plunder and all its plunder as a whole burnt offering as a whole burnt offering to the Lord your God to the Lord your God it is to remain it is to remain a ruin forever, a ruin forever, never to be rebuilt, never to be rebuilt. Thank you, Besan. 245号, Jesse. Hello, Besan. This is Jesse. Um, five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 17. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 17. None of those condemned things, none of those condemned things shall be found in your hands, shall be formed in your hands, so that the Lord will turn, so that the Lord will turn from his fierce anger. From his fierce anger, he will show you mercy. He will show you mercy. Have compassion on you. Have compassion on you. And increase your numbers. And increase your numbers. As he promised on oath. As he promised on oath. To your forefathers. To your forefathers. Thank you, Bethan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Arsulio Eagle. Hello, Bethan. This is Eagle. Fair words to you. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 18. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 18. Because you obey the Lord your God, because you obey the Lord your God, Keeping all his commands, keeping all his commands that I am giving you today, that I am giving you today, and doing what is right in his eyes, and doing what is right in his eyes. Thank you, Bethan. Joshua. Mm. Hello. This is Joshua. Three words. Three words, please. Deuteronomy hmm? Joshua Deuteronomy Deuteronomy chapter 14 chapter 14 verse 1 verse 1 You are the children You are the children of the Lord, of the Lord, your God, your God, do not cut, do not cut yourselves, yourselves, or shave the front, for shave the front, front of your heads. A few head for the dead. For the dead. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
好，谢谢。我们再叫最后一位 ，the last one， 二百五十五号 ，Abraham。Hi， 大家好 ，I'm Abraham。Five words, please. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen, verse two. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen, verse two. For you are a people. For you are a people. Holy to the Lord your God. Holy to the Lord your God. Out of all the peoples. Out of all the peoples. On the face of the earth. On the face of the earth. The Lord has chosen you. The Lord has chosen you. To be His treasured possession. To be His treasured possession. Thank you, Bethan. Thank you, Bethan. It's our testimony time. Happy will be your interpreter. Is it happy? Are you? I'm good. I hope you are happy. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Um, tucked between Paul's encouragement to be strong in God's power, because our fight is against spiritual forces, and the explanation of the armor that will enable to withstand these battles is this summary. 保罗鼓励我们依靠神的大能，做刚强人，因为我们对抗，我因为我们对抗的是属灵的征战。他又解释了抵挡征战的军装。Ephesians chapter six verse thirteen says, "Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground." And after you have done everything to stand, 以弗所书六章十三节说，所以要拿起神所赐的全副军装，好在磨难的日子抵挡仇敌，并成就了成就了一切，还能站立得住。There are so many important parts to this verse. 这节经文中有很多重要的地方。First off, his exhortation to put on the armor of God is basically telling you to put on Jesus. 首先，他的劝勉穿上神所赐赐的军装，总体上说是告诉你穿上耶稣。Any strength to face our trials and battles will only come through Jesus's power. 任何面对试探和征战的力量，都只能来自于耶稣的能力。And we will face trouble， 并且我们会遇到磨难。The verse says, "When the day of evil comes, not if the day of evil comes." 经文中说的是当磨难来的日子，而不是说如果磨难来的日子。Jesus warned the same when he said that we will face persecution if we follow him. Jesus 基督也给我们同样的提醒，他对我们说，我们跟从他会遇到逼迫。The Christian life is not easy. 基督的生基督徒的生活不是件容易的事。Two comparisons that came to my mind right away. We're comparing living the Christian life to a race. 我立刻想到两个比较，将基督徒的生活比作赛跑。And training for running is no joke. 跑步训练可不是笑话，不是件容易的事。That's some hard work to not quit and keep going. 这项这是项艰苦的工作，不能放弃，要不断坚持。The other is a comparison to war. 另一个比较是与战争的比较。No explanation needed there for difficulties. 又说了。The day of evil 
can be easily seen at times. 邪恶的日子有时可以显而易见。First Peter five eight says that Satan comes like a roaring lion. 彼得前书五章八节说，撒旦如同吼叫的狮子。That's hard to miss. 这很难错过。Second Corinthians eleven fourteen says that Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. 哥林多后书十一章十四节说，撒旦装成。装作成光明的天使。We should be discerning to know what comes from God. 我们应该有分辨力，知道什么是来自于神的。Don't readily accept teaching without studying God's word. 不要没有学习查考神的话就轻易接受教训。That's First John four one. 约翰一书四。With attacks coming from different fronts, it's easy to see why we need God's armor. Because there are attacks from different directions. It's obvious we need God's armor. Verse two, Titus two, verse two. Two times in this verse, Titus two, verse two. Two times in this verse, Titus two, verse two. Two times in this verse, Titus two, verse two. Two times in this verse, Titus two, verse two. Two times in this verse, Titus two, verse two. Two times in this verse, Titus two, verse two. 两次提到了以以弗所人要站立得住。It's an active position, not resting or sitting. 这是一个主动站立的主动的姿势，而不是休息或者是坐在那里。If I paraphrase the ending of this verse, it would say, "Do something, and after you've done something, do something again." 如果我来解读这节的结尾，会说做点什么，在你完成某事之后做点什么。God works in and through us for His purpose. 上帝他通过我们来完成他的工作。Philippians two thirteen. 以弗所书二章十三节。But He works through our actions. 是，我们立志行事呢，是在我们立志行事是神在我们里面运运行，为要成就他的美意。但他通过我们的行动来做工。The armor of God isn't simply protection, but is the actions of sharing the gospel, studying the Bible, and prayer. 神的军装不仅仅是做保护，而而是。分享福音，学习圣经和祈祷的行动。Let's do something this week for God with His power. 这周让我们运用上帝所赐的力量，为上帝做些事情吧。Thank you. Thank you. Please lead us to read God's prayer. Hmm. Our Father in heaven. 啊，请大家开麦，跟着老师一起读。In heaven, our Father in heaven, oh heaven, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Kingdom come. Kingdom come. Your will be done. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As we also have forgiven our debtors. We also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, 
But deliver us from the evil one. But deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you.